uh, hey everyone, uh, this is just going to be a an update video on the Halo 3 mod that I made. Uh, initially I made the mod when it was doing the Halo 3 flight, but I've now been recently updating it since Halo 3 is released. So, what's changed so far and what have I added this time? Well, first of all, the very first thing you'll notice when you come into the map is I've changed the skybox to the one used in the mission Halo when you're doing the Warthog run. If I go into the monitor and fly up, you'll see there's quite a lot of crap, for lack of a better term, outside the bounds of the map. And unfortunately you can't actually reach that due to the hard limits in the map size. But you can go outside these bounds and that. Uh, obviously, Tevro Fairf actually deleted the bounds, which is why I can go up and down through this without there being a floor. So that's probably the first change you'll notice if you apply the patch to the map. The second thing you'll notice is if you're playing as an elite. Uh, I've actually change the elite into a brute chieftain and I've actually gave the brute chieftain Spartan animations. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's not perfect but it's a bit it's quite cool to playing as a brute. Unfortunately it doesn't have the, the standard brute animations because they've all been essentially overwritten by the Spartan ones but it's not that bad. Uh, obviously you wouldn't normally see this, but I've made the brute shot for person just so you can get a view. So, what else have I done? Well, if you look into the vehicle menu, you'll see the weasel, which isn't actually supposed to be there, I forgot to move it out. But apart from that, it's just typical. Instead, what I've done is I've actually moved all the new content to the teleporters tab, just because it's unused, basically. And then the teleporters themselves have been moved to the very bottom of scenery. So, without further ado, we'll go through what's been added into this uh, palette. So first of all, typical pelican. Uh, I've put physics spheres here, they're, like, they're bigger than doing the flight, uh, so that they don't plop into the ground, but obviously I've not added it here because as far as I'm concerned, it's too much effort. Uh, you can get in the seats. Just slide in the flight and you get in through the back. With the rocket pods in that as well. So, that's the Belkin. Phantom as well. Just your typical stuff. You get in through here, the left engine. And it has the chin gun available to use. What I'm planning on doing with this is I'm going to see if these are viable as seats still, like the one in Halo 2, and I'm going to see if I can remove this block and maybe attach a grav lift effect to push it up here. But that's way in the future. Obviously, you've got the green version as well, and you've got the the drivable bipeds, so but the brute. Unfortunately you can't you can't get drivable bipeds to melee or pick up weapons or swap weapons, so I might end up just removing these, I'm not completely sure because all they can do is fire the weapons that were given to them by well in assembly in the map. Uh, I'll see what happens. What will happen with that? I'm not sure. I might remove them, but it's the same for them all. Like, pick up a grunt. If you go on the grunt, you can't melee with the grunt. That wasn't meant to happen. Uh, you can't really do much. The only one that maybe I might keep it, the only ones I might keep is the jackal and the hunter, because if you crouch, they put their shield forward. Uh, another thing you might notice is they've actually got sounds as well now. Uh, Z updated assembly with 
sound injection, so everything that you inject into a map has sounds. Uh, so that's quite cool as well. Uh, but yeah, Star Up, unfortunately, due to limitations in the game, this definitely doesn't uh, synchronize. I'm not sure about the bypass, but it doesn't. This is a definite no, so. If you're playing with this, you're playing with it by yourself, unfortunately. Uh, has its, it has its uh, sounds in that as well. The top turret is actually controlled with the left trigger, or maybe the right mouse button. Now, uh, so, custom that I've had myself this year is the Weasel Motorcycle. Uh, I've done this by myself, it's nothing special if I'm honest. It does have Pelican rocket pods that have been duplicated, scaled down, and put into a relatively... Uh, what would be the word? A place that makes some rel relative sense. Uh, I've driven at a different camera track, and it fires a volley of rockets. If I remember correctly, I set the reload time to 6 seconds, because this thing is very overpowered. If I get a scorpion and face it in the pad, if you can get around the back of a scorpion, it's a basically a one hit kill. Maybe two hits, but it is very, very powerful. So I've definitely a long build for a little bit balancing. And I've actually put a Mondrus beside it first. Uh, I can find it. There. So it's just a Mondrus, but it's mm. been driven two wheels instead of four. They've been moved about and it's been driven water pods. Uh, so, apart other than that, I have this. I'm calling it the MLRS because the idea came from the MLRS vehicles that I'm having in real life, which fire followers of rockets. It's not perfect and it's very work in progress because I don't like how it looks but it is also very powerful. It fires 12 rockets at a time and it's got a shorter reload than the Mondrus the Weasel motorcycle because it's just it's a tad it's going to be quite hard to Get away from people, it's quite easy to attack. And then also removed the turret as well. And a personal turret. So you've got a little bit less defence. But it's still insanely powerful. It's very work in progress. I've also got this. This is the latest find so far. Uh, it's a frigate. It uses the Phantom's physics model because. The I can't figure out how to make the standard physics model shorter, and it uses the Phantom as a base as well for the flying, to, for driving it. I'm going to try and get the turret as a and I'm going to try and make a mat cannon for it. I've currently got it set as a growth cannon, but it's also scaled down to a tenth of its size. It is this the actual figure itself is massive. And this is just a tenth of the size of the frigate. It's also quite quick, because it's obviously it's based off a phantom, but uh yeah, uh it's a pain in the ass to pick up because the only way to pick it up is through this little thing here, which actually collapses into the ground, so good luck picking it up. <laughs> if it's in the ground, as you'll see there, if I go over to it, there's no way I'm getting that because it's inside the ground, so still some stuff. And then if you go a certain amount out of your vision, it will disappear sometimes. But I said these are all work in progress, so I can't really complain too much right now. But uh, in general, that's what I've got so far, what I'm planning on doing as well is adding in the AI spawning 
Uh, I will have a couple. I will have limitations. Unfortunately, there's no pathfinding in this map, so to get them to to the AI to work, basically, all you can all of them do is run forward or walk forward, and they'll run towards their target all times while trying to attack the target. But uh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. But uh, that's that might take a while because it's one of those tedious things. And then I'm also going to obviously try and sort these. Then my last and the third. I might also, I'm actually planning as well to take all this content, at least when I'm done, and then apply it to other maps as well. So it's not just sandbox. Uh, Snowbound has quite a large player outside, so I might do something like that, but with that. But then we've got other models and everything. Using Snowbound as a base as well, so have to wait and see. But yeah, if you're interested in downloading the mod, uh, its current version, which doesn't have the fridget just yet, uh, I will include a link to the Nexus page in the video description, and it will be regularly updated, so you might want to keep an eye on the page regardless. But yeah, if you uh, you like the video and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, share the video around, download the, the mod for yourself and try it out, uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.